Hello, this video is going to talk about uh, the Southerly 110 by North Shore. Um, that boat is a 35 uh, feet boat and it has the advantage of uh, a, a plate which allows to probably get a swing keel. So it's almost a little bit like a standard plate but with a quality of a long keel almost. The good thing is that you can still beach and have a real boat which is capable to aim and get wet in the wind. So if we look at her, how she's doing, this was uh, in the Gold de Morbihan in southern Brittany on a nice day uh, with about 8 9 uh, knots of wind. Uh, my uh, southerly 110 is equipped with a head rigging but with a tall mast uh, which was an option. They do exist with a standard mast in uh, head rigging but also with a uh, self-tacking jib which has an, a fractional rigging. What you can see is that she's doing reasonably well and uh, because uh, the dual rudder uh, you never really lose control of the boat even when you have a small gust like you can see now but that was on a pretty quiet day. Uh, as you can see she's doing well and uh, you get uh, remain very dry. So the point is that you, you have a boat which is capable to aim in the wind even if that boat is capable to take the ground completely flat. So the recovery curve are really excellent. If you look for the 110 uh, with the keel up as well as down. In both cases you are in category A and with a great recovery which means you can get out by tough wind. And that photo was actually done on a day with uh, 25 to 30 knots and you can see I was close hold and I was still with a reasonable angle while I had my uh, force stay installed. Now if we take a more normal reasonable day like uh, this video which was done on a 13 knots day between 10 and 13 it was varying in the Gulf of Morbihan with not too much waves. You can see that we stayed dry. But we are doing pretty well and um, we are healing in a very comfortable way. So that's uh, the beauty of uh, the Southerly 110. It's actually a boat which is doing quite well and um, by opposition to what a lot of people believe, um, confusing them with Westerly, the Southerlies are very different, especially the 110 because it was the first one done by design with Robert Humphrey and uh, he probably had a, created a hull which is uh, designed for a little bit of racing. Um, obviously I have good sails as you can notice and uh, that is important, you know, um, any boat uh, with uh, bad sails and a dirty hull would not go well. But what is interesting is the speed. Uh, you can see that we have uh, 15 knots apparent wind which means that we're about uh, 12 wheel. We are with wind on the side, which means that we get 60 degrees apparent wind, and uh, she's doing a cyst of five knots, which is pretty honorable. Now, the second great thing with uh, Southerly is that they are very stable. And you can notice that the autopilot is probably doing almost nothing, uh, keeping her reasonably well. And I use that a lot because I do a lot of single-handed, which means that I have to create my own electricity. And I have added a gun tree on her, which is something quite easy to do because uh, the plastic and the fiberglass is so strong that you don't have a problem. You can notice that the cockpit is reasonably big. Video. Um, on the cockpit, you have two, be two big uh, cupboard. Uh, the one on the left uh, has uh, all my uh, ropes more or less plus uh, the two bottles of gas and the one on the right is very deep. So if you have a boat which is going very nicely in real sea but you still can get the keel up you can do things you could not do otherwise. Uh, one of the examples is obviously through canals. You know, uh, it's easier when you don't have to remove the mask like here in the Crenian canal. You can go in a um, bay which are pretty deep, you can go to the very end of the bay where nobody is going to dare to go. You can access to very narrow harbors. Oh, if it's dry, that's not a big problem, you still are comfortable, just touch the rocks or touch the beach. Um, and as I've said, she actually will uh, take the ground flat, um, which is very easy. Um, 
and everything is protected including the uh, propeller which has uh, its own protections. So up to you to dream which type of small harbour you want to do. Uh, as I told you the cockpit is quite big and uh, this is uh, behind the cockpit. I would say she's very comfortable at sea, up to five adults. Um, for longer term you don't want to be much more than that. Inside uh, you get quite a lot of nice space. She's optimized for uh, really sailing and you can do everything with a sail as you will see a little bit later. There is a version called RS35 which will be less popular where the saloon is organized in a different way and optimization was more done to be at anchorage rather than at sea. So this is a layout, you can see that the uh, master cabin is huge and at sea the, the very original sea with that boat is that you have a vision. She's stable, you can see I'm cooking. Uh, a great soup, you know, it's a lazy cooking. But the interesting point is that uh, you have a full visibility on the front from the cooking place as well as from the uh, chart place. The uh, companion way is pretty steep uh, because that boat is actually deep. Uh, on the chart table you have opportunity to have a uh, a repeater for the autopilot, most of them are equipped like that and I use OpenCPN for all my navigation and the Raymarine is only used uh, to control the radar in case of fog. But once again you can notice the uh, vision on the front. Now it's not as good as outside but I can tell you on a day like uh, when I did that video which was in full winter, uh, it's far more comfortable to be inside with a little bit of heating um, than it is to be outside. But up to you to do it as you want. Uh, the table can be extended if you have more people uh, and it can also be put down to make uh, a bed for extra uh, visitors. Uh, you have nice um, wood a little bit everywhere and uh, the quality of construction is, is really nice. So that in a nutshell for the um, inside of uh, the size of U110. So just let you see a little bit again the outside view, which is pretty unique on the boat, especially on the boat uh, which is not a 50 but a real sailing boat, uh, which is doing very nicely at sail. So uh, that will open you opportunity to go in places where you would have not dare for. Uh, this was taken in the Scilly, I was just uh, on the beach, um, almost drying um, every night. Um, and I'll uh, let you think what you would like to do with uh, your boat, but uh, she's definitely a pretty unique type of boat. And the size, um, 35 feet, uh, is something which is very easy to maneuver single-handed. The stability is pretty amazing with the keel up as well as down. And getting the keel up, especially in, uh, when you have the wind in your back with uh, big waves, uh, can be very interesting to, uh, as an option.